Hey third graders, it's Mrs. Young, and today we're going to practice measuring mass using a balance scale. So here's our balance scale, and this is a tool that we can use to measure the weight or mass of objects. Remember that we measure mass using grams. Here is one gram. The yellow is worth five grams. The orange pieces are worth 10 grams and the brown pieces are worth 20 grams. To use the balance scale, we put whatever we're measuring in one side and then we put the mass pieces in the other side until the balance is even or balanced. Let's try this using this metal. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put this metal into this side of the balance. And once again, I need to make sure that I'm adding the mass pieces until the other side is level. So I'm going to go ahead and add a 20 gram piece. And it barely moved. So that tells me that I still need to add more. It tells me that my metal is heavier than 20 grams. Let's add another. Here's another one. So 20 plus 20 is 40. So right now I have 40 grams in the scale. Now, I think I'm probably getting somewhat close. So I'm going to use a smaller unit now. I'm going to use the 10 gram piece. So now I have 20 plus 20 plus 10, which is 50 grams. And let's try another one of those. Plus another 10 would be 60 grams. We can see here, now it really started to move, so I'm very close. So I can tell that this side is just a little bit lower, just by a little tiny bit. So I'm going to put in maybe one more little piece like this, worth one gram, into this side. We're very close, aren't we? And I would say that based on this being right in the middle, right in the middle, that tells me that this metal has the same mass as the pieces that are in this side. So we can go ahead, let's move these off to the side and we'll add up how many. So it was 20, 20 is 40, plus 10 is 50, plus another 10 is 60, and then one little one, so I'll put it right on top of there. So 61 grams. It tells me that this metal is 61 grams in weight. Next, we're going to measure this little Lego car. So check it out. I have this little Lego car. And again, I'm going to put the Lego car into one side of the balance. This time I'm going to put it in the other side. And now I'm going to put my mass pieces on the opposite end. Now I'm going to start with a 20 gram piece once again. So here's my 20 grams and I'm going to put it into this side. Now I'm going to put for my next one, a 10 gram piece. So think about what I have in this side now. I'll show you quick, seeing this, remember. I have a brown and an orange. That means there's 30 grams in here right now. Now I have a question for you. My question is written on my piece of paper here behind. It says, is the Lego car, and you have three choices, is the Lego car more than 30 grams? Is it exactly 30 grams? Or is the Lego car less than 30 grams? Hmm. Well, I have 30 grams in here right now. Choice B says it is 30 grams, but I think that that's not the best choice because my balance is not even. My balance shows me that this side is lower and this side is up higher. So letter B can't be correct. I'm going to cross off letter B. Right. My other two options are 
Is the Lego car more than 30 grams or is it less than 30 grams? All right, well, my Lego car is lower than the gram pieces. So in order to get this level, what would I need to do? I need to add gram pieces to this side in order to make it heavier. In order to do that, that tells me that my, my Lego car must be more than 30. Because right now there's 30 grams in here. And in order to make this be more, I'm going to have to add to it. So let's try that and let's see exactly how heavy the car is. So I have 30 in there right now. Let's try adding a 5 to make 35. So here would be 35. And I see when I look at this that my little line right here is going pretty much straight up and down. Right? So that tells me that my Lego car is more than 30 grams. And I know that the Lego car is a total, these up, is a total of 35 grams. I could even stack them to help you maybe see that even more. 35 grams. I have my 20 plus my 10 plus my five, which is 35. So I'm gonna write down that my answer is that the Lego car is more than 30 grams. And I know my Lego car is 35 grams. We abbreviate grams with a G. So I'll put that in parentheses right here, a G.